nor'easter on a collision course with New England. You never know what to expect when you live on the water. Strong winds and big waves crashing into Salisbury Beach, where beach erosion has been a huge problem. Probably like eight or 10 feet of the dune went away. Water was coming up all the way up here. It's terrible. Several months ago, a massive storm flooding this area and taking out the dunes. Crews adding some sand back along with hay bales to try to protect these homes like Paul Tarshi's. I can't anticipate. You never know what the ocean's going to do. It could come in here and take everybody's house away. I mean, there's no control over the ocean. Down the coast in Ipswich, you can also see the beach erosion. This shipwreck revealing itself down the beach and then washing away. And then a new section revealing itself right here. Almost like we're on the losing side of a battle and making people realize how precious this is. Emily Gerard is the head ranger at Crane Beach in Ipswich. She shows us what's left of the Ada K. Damon, a schooner that crashed here in 1909. This large section of it washing away thanks to beach erosion, while a new part is now visible. It's wild how much erosion that we've seen. It's wild to see where the sand seems to come up, but a gift to have something so tangible. You can't really follow where one grain of sand goes. You can see where this goes. And back here live, you can see these waves continuing to crash here at Salisbury Beach. Now, the concern is, is that come high tide, those waves will crash into the dunes that are along the beach here, causing further beach erosion for this coastal community. Live in Salisbury, I'm Peter Eliopoulos, WCVB News Center 5.